Hey, what's going on guys? This is Argyle Argonian, and today we are going to be playing some Defiance. Now, Defiance is a, um, like a sci-fi-ish, um, I guess MMO, sort of. It's, uh, for PC and, um, Xbox. I don't know if it's for PS3 or anything. But I'm playing it on the Xbox right now, as you can see. And, uh, I don't know. I really like this game. It's pretty fun. Um, it's, uh, like, open world. Um, you could do story missions, uh, or you could just do whatever. You could go around and kill stuff. You can play co-op. You can do stuff like time trials or rampage. Rampage is, like... Uh, kill as many enemies uh, without dying in a certain amount of time. Um, time trials is like racing. Then you have side missions, and uh, there's something else, I think, but I forget what it is. But uh, we're going to be starting a new game right now, so here we go. Um, there are some cutscenes. Um, you can obviously skip over those if you want. Uh, I'm going to play them uh, anyway. Um, they're gonna start out quiet because I do have music turned off for copyright reasons. Um, so you won't hear anything, uh, in the beginning. So don't worry, it's not your computer freaking out, it's actually the game. So, here we go. Okay. The Votan's arrival was more immigration than invasion. Peaceful attempts to integrate collapsed into decades of war and chaos. The earth was transformed. Extinction seemed inevitable until the Battle of Defiance. Human and Votan soldiers defied orders and united to save innocent lives. This valiant act inspired the belief that we must brave this new frontier together. Earth Republic, Strato Carrier, New Freedom, West Coast Deployment. So this is a, in a real world setting. Um, so there are certain landmarks you might recognize. And I'm going to be quiet for this. Listen up, people! We just passed the Golden Gate! We'll be on site in less than 20! So you got 10 to secure the rest of that gear and get yourself strapped in for a landing! Repeat! 10 minutes until lockdown, people! That's an unacceptable response. Must I remind you who I am? What the hell is this? I don't care what your protocol is. You're here to help me, so that's what I want you to do. You're dismissed, Private. What's the problem, Von Bach? You better get your men in line, Captain Grant. I want my equipment out of storage. My Ark Hunters and I depart as soon as we land. The Earth Republic is in a limousine service. Your gear's locked up and we don't have time to dig it out. Now please, find your seat. No offense, Captain, but I think your orders were to do as I ask. My orders come from my superiors. People in Manhattan wearing uniforms, like this. And those orders are to keep you safe while you locate your alleged Arctech. Alleged Arctech? There is no alleged, Captain. Do you see this? With this Arc core and the rest of the technology that I'll find in the Bay Area, I will repair this world. And be its hero, of course. You're in a restricted area. Get to your seat. If anything happens to my gear, I'll send the bill to your superiors. What an asshole. Let's move, people! Time's ticking! What is this, a dorm room? Everyone, get to your seats! You two, let's go!
No problem, Cap. You, too. Okay, so this is the part that we get to create our character. Um, there are three races that you can play as. There's human, um, Erathiant, and uh, Castathan. Uh, humans are, you know, regular humans. Um, and there's Erathiant, which... Um, I don't know. You can you can like Google the backstory because I I don't really know. <laughs> I've been playing this game for like over a year and I don't know all the backstory. Um, so there's these guys, um, and there's the Castathans, which are extremely white. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with human because um, why not? Uh, you can be now the origin that you choose doesn't really matter. Um, like, you would think, like, alright, this guy's a shotgun, that means he's going to be proficient in shotguns. Uh, no, that just means when you spawn in, your starting weapon is going to be a shotgun. And you're going to have those as your starting clothes. So, if you want to start out with a light machine gun, you'll be a machinist, or if I'm saying that right, machinist. Uh, you'll start out with a light machine gun and that armor. Outlaw, you start with a shotgun and that armor. Survivalist, sniper and that armor. And veteran is assault rifle and that armor. Now, I keep saying armor, I just mean like clothing, but uh, there's no like real, um, uh, what's the word? There's no, like you don't, you're not protected anymore if you're wearing this guy, like, he has a t-shirt on, as opposed to this guy has, like, a, um, winter vest. Um, the clothing has no effect on your defense or, uh, attack or anything. It's just what you want to look like. Uh, I'm gonna go with this guy, because I like the, uh, survivalist, personally. And then you choose your arch, arch type. I can't talk today. <laughs> I'll go with this guy. Um... Go with that. Hey, friend. And what's up? Sure, we'll go Maverick for the voice, eye shape. I'll go with two. Eye color. Um, eye color. I usually just keep default. Uh, eyebrows. Yeah, sure. We'll go with those. Hairstyle. Uh, um. I don't know. I usually go with that one for the human. Um. We'll give him. Uh, we we'll give him gray hair, and we'll give him this beard. And you can do like tattoos and stuff. I don't really use tattoos. I don't like the ones that they offer. Um, that one, I'm not sure what it is. I think that's more if you're like a bald character because if you look at the top right yeah, let me uh, disable notifications real quick or should have done this before I started um, so I don't really know what that one is uh, and then there's like tribal tattoos tears that thing and this like colorful one now you can't change the color of the tattoo which kinda sucks but you know that's whatever um, I mean, I kind of like that one, but I don't. I don't know. I don't really. I don't really want any tattoos, so I won't use them. Um, that one just gives me a black eye on my on the left eye. <laughs> I don't know if you notice it. It's like a slight difference. Um, that one gives you like scars. That's the black eye. Um, there's a white eye, like a blind eye I've... there. Uh, like a chemical burn, that looks like. Um, I'm not sure what that one is. Oh, uh, that's like along the cheek, and that one's like freckles or something. Um, I like this one. I like the white eye on there. I think it looks cool. Hmm. 
Hmm. And I'm going with that. And the name will be. Or oh no, nope, that's caps. I don't mean to do that. Argyle. Nope. Why is it still in caps? Hold on a second. A R G Y L E. Space. Argonian. Start. No one has this name. Guarantee it. What? <laughs> Rejected by Xbox Live. Name M must contain the appropriate text. Uh, what? Enter name for the Zarkon. You may enter a single name or first and last name. Separated by a single space. What? Uh, okay. Let's do, uh... No space. How about that? Yep, that works. Okay. So there's gonna be a cutscene, I think. So I'm gonna mute my mic. Now, hold on, Captain. That one isn't wearing your beloved uniform. They don't take orders from you. Sorry about that, friend. Ten, strap in. I never got to brief you on your ego implant, so we really need to. What the hell? Sir, they need you on the bridge. I think I will actually get to my seat. When we land, don't go anywhere. The ego activation can be a bit jarring without a proper briefing. Relax. It's just a little turbulence. Completely normal. No, it's not. We're all gonna die. She's actually quite charming once you get to know her. Hold on! Sequence. We're Alert. going down! Full integrity compromised. Evacuation pod. All right. There's like a slight glitch in the uh, <laughs> in the cutscene. I don't know what that was. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of uh, loading screens in this game. For the cutscenes, at least. Here's another one. But this one's like not really too important. Brace yourself, Cass. This could be real bad. Which one of these dealies opens this bitch? Ah, uh, nice. Holy stucko! You're alive. Oh yeah, so they don't actually um curse in this game. They say stuff like stucko and uh, jack and stuff like that. That's like the um Arachian way of uh. Cursing or cussing or whatever the hell you Whoa, want to call it. Are you okay? For you bad words. <laughs> Can you hear me? You need to sit down. Here, sit down before you pass out. I'm sure you took more than a bump to the head, so rest. Get your feet under you. I'm gonna go see if anyone else needs help. Oh, you might want to arm yourself a bit more. The locals aren't known for their charm. Hello. Oh, good. You can hear me now. I can sense your nervousness, but don't fret. I'm the environmental guardian online device that was injected into your body. You can just call me Ego. Please forgive me. I'm having some trouble getting all the behaviors activated, so we might experience a few hitches at the beginning. But I'll sort it out. We have lots to go over, so we should start. 
Yeah, so at any point I go quiet during a cutscene, I just don't want to talk over the cutscene. <laughs> we need to find Mr. Von Bach, but first, we'll need to gear up. Von Bach Alright, so we gotta gear up. Okay, bring up the map. The I um, a marker on our map. This is just the starting out. area. Um, uh, once we get out of here, we'll actually be able to experience the entire map. Like this is a really small area, as you can see. <laughs> um, but it isn't like um, like there's obviously indoor areas, like for um, missions and stuff like that. But uh, mainly, you'll just be dealing with an open world map. It's pretty big, so you'll be able to you'll see. All right, so we got our first shield, Von Bach Industries Defense Screen. We're going to need another weapon. Uh, these are hell bugs. I'm picking up a signal from oh. a crashed mobile armory. Let's hurry. We need to collect the necessary equipment as soon as possible. I could so kill these guys, but they don't really drop off. anything, and they don't give much XP. They give like two XP, as you you can see. So we're gonna go this way. Um, also, um, it seems that the. Uh, the main source of communication between players is through the uh, text chat. Uh, no one uses a mic in this game for whatever reason. I guess they just don't want to or they don't know that you actually have to enable that. <laughs> um, I'll show you that in a second. So we gotta search the mobile armory. I think we get the sniper Nothing here now. The accuracy and range of a sniper rifle. One well-aimed shot could mean the oh, end survivalist. of survivalist. How much damage? Particular weapon types work better for specific situations. At one thousand. So you'll okay, want to get yeah. used to switching back and forth between right. the primary and secondary weapons. Right, so we can switch between primary and secondary. I'm some explosives nearby. We could definitely use um, those. I've put the location on the map. Now you don't have to have a pistol as a secondary if you don't want to. You can obviously equip like an assault rifle or another sniper or whatever you want. But uh, these are the only two weapons that they give you when you start out, so this is what we have to work with. Um, I personally like the sniper. Um, it's like one good headshot and they're down. <laughs> so if you go to your settings, you hold the left trigger, you can actually go to your settings there. Um, they're down here, they have emotes, subtitles, combat music. Uh, voice and microphone for I think deep by default these are off like that so you actually have to turn them on yourself but I don't think anyone uses the voice all I've ever seen was the uh, this chat thing where you have to hit a and then you gotta type in whatever or um, if you have one of those uh, uh, keyboard things for your controller, which I have, uh, they're definitely a lot more useful than just going from uh, key to key or uh, letter to letter. I don't know what? Oh, I have According to go up to there? Readings, okay. Those creatures are actually humans. I just However, did this yesterday. I made another mutated. character and I was messing around and <laughs> I'm already lost. Okay, that was a little scary. Alright, so we have to find a grenade, and then after that we test our egos out, and you can see, uh, like, your ego ability. Um... And they have, uh, you have four choices, like four skills that you can choose from. Uh, you have Blur, um, Decoy, Overcharge, I think, and uh, something else. I forget what it's called, but you'll be able to see what that is in a little bit. So we got grenades. grenades. Just gotta Grab equip these things real quick. Oh. Alright, here we go. Get out of there. Now, now that we're geared up, it's time to train me, uh, you on the ego ammo. So we go right here. First, we'll try cloak. While using cloak, you are completely invisible to enemies. Use the power to sneak up behind the projections and attack. Now 
you see me. Cloak must be activated. So you have this cloak right here. There we go. Now we'll test the overcharge power. While using overcharge, now we have overcharge the coming up. The enemy is significantly increased. Shoot the projection while overcharge is activated. Yeah, that's what I needed. Ah. Yeah, so overcharge is good for taking down shields, um, especially on much larger enemies. That will fool and distract the enemy. Um, Take down the projections. It's also good for like really powerful decoy. enemies. Um, yeah. ah, here we go. Yeah. So we use that. Accept no substitutions. There we go. The blur power so decoy. Blur will allow us to move so we got decoy, cloak, overcharge so far, and the other one is blur. With blur and active, blur is like makes you run fast. And strike them with melee attacks. You must activate the blur power and strike these projections with melee attacks. So you got that. Good work. Uh, blur is cool for getting into like uh, like getting away from like tough situations. Um, you able to get out of there like really fast without worry of death unless you're in a high level area but um luckily this game uh, allows you to um or doesn't allow you it uh it gives you a temporary I, I, I can't talk <laughs> it gives you a temporary level boost so say you're in an area with like a high level player like uh like someone's level like 1000 or 2000 it'll temporarily boost your level like you see in the top left next to my name it says 10 that's my that's my level I'm level 10 um, it would temporarily boost me to level 1000 or 2000 or whatever the highest uh, the highest level player in that area is it'll boost me temporarily to their to match their level and it doesn't like uh, exclude f uh, people views, from like uh, participating in like arc falls and stuff mutated. like that and arc falls are like um, random events that occur like um, like pieces of alien technology that are floating around in space uh, shoot down onto earth you basically fight a wa uh, few waves of enemies and then the thing uh, explodes and it releases either a shield or a weapon or something like that so I get to choose yeah what I want my thing to be and I'm actually gonna die soon so I gotta pick pretty quick so cloak do I order charge I think I'm gonna use uh I'm gonna use I'm gonna use overcharge because that's the aggressive choice good for uh snipers I'm receiving a signal I'll patch it through can anyone hear me? I need help there we go. Here. It looks like the mutants are getting organized for an attack. Alright, so we gotta go help out Cass. Help we need to shut these dudes down. If we don't, you can forget about finding any survivors. Now this game is a little glitchy, so enemies may appear and disappear sometimes. I have the ability so, to hack into most computer systems. Yeah, so there Get to they are. Thorium reactor and I'll see what I can do. Yeah, so headshots uh, count definitely. Um Like two shots to the head is killing them with this pistol. Uh which is good. So we we got to go here. And I have to real quick activate that. I'm sure we'll be able to use it to our advantage. Oh god. I was able to reactivate the fissile material. The reactor will overload and blow this entire base off the map. Pop a nade. But we'll need to keep the mutants from disrupting the process. What did you do to that thing? It looks like it's going to explode. Oh no. I'm gonna disarm it. The reactor is overloaded. Keep it going. So yeah, I'm gonna stick with pistol right here for now. Almost there. Keep those mutants away from the reactor. Alright, so that's almost um 
ready to explode. Yeah, I got. I've lost my uh, touch with the sniper in this game. <laughs> All right, so that just finished up. So we are gonna jump this wall somehow <laughs> and escape. Now, um, I've played this game numerous times before, so. Um, I made an account on their website, and you, an you can look up these codes you. that you can type in. Oh wait, I'll, I'll wait until they're done talking. You know, I think we're gonna make one hell of a team. A little backup can take you a long way in this crazy place. Product placement. <laughs> I'm heading to the crash site. They're gonna need help. I'm sure we'll be in contact. Our hunter. Okay, yeah, so, um, I found out you can go on their website, you can type in, like, these little codes or whatever, and they give you, like, free stuff, like, more inventory space, uh, more loadouts, uh, things like that. Uh, they give you vehicles, and there we go. So, we finished that, um, and we gotta go over the map. So, here's the entire map. Uh, we were limited to, like, a small area, maybe, like, that size. From Tranquility Road to like the bottom or the top part of the M Mount Tam. We have all of this uh, here. Um, all the way to South Salido. And you have San Francisco. And then they have a newly added place called Silicon Valley. That's fairly new. It's been out for a couple months, I think. So it's a pretty big map. Um, a lot of places to go, and there's a lot of missions to do. But um, I have to do this mission first, obviously. Um, also, I uh, bought a bunch of <laughs> cosmetic crap for. Um, oh yeah, I have to actually claim it. So I have 33 items in here. Mountain tracker, all this clothing and free weapons and stuff. So I have a Raptor car, um, Terrestrial Motorworks Hannibal 800R, uh, 7th Legion is something that I bought, it's a DLC, and there's Arc Salvage, uh, skills for guns. So I got all these that I can claim. So, I ranked up to 50. Um, also, I'm ranked up in bolt action snipers, light machine guns, pistols, level 2 now, um, pump shotguns, and I'm guessing assault rifles. That weapon's attacks have a special effect. These weapons are rare and powerful. You should keep an there eye out go. for them. Alright, so now I can change my appearance if I want to. Put on my uh, mountain tracker stuff. All right, it's a Badlands Ronin that came with the DLC mountain tracker that goes with the helmet that I'm wearing. So I'll just wear my uh, wear my stiff. Now I like using this one to start out with. Uh, it's a lot faster than the other thing, the Raptor. Uh, the Raptor thing I got for free, so I really can't complain. But this it's not all that great, I'll be empty. honest. I hope whoever was in there is still alive somewhere. I'm experiencing a lot of interference. Get to an open area there so I can go. scan the valley. All right, so there's gonna be a cutscene here. We're really lucky to be alive. The crash is horrifying. All right, so we gotta make our way down here. I hope this video isn't too long. It's probably like over 20 minutes, though. Awesome shot. 
Alright, so as you can see, this is while this is open world, other people can also interact with you. So this random guy that's also playing took out the same enemies that I was fighting. I'm receiving several Vombok industry signals. One of them has to be him. Let's hurry and check them out. Um, so we gotta go over here. We gotta check out these uh, crash site things. Uh, these bodies that uh, are all charred up from the crash. The and we gotta make sure or see if these are Von Bach, if any of those are Von Bach. So Von Bach was that bald dude that kept complaining on the uh, Strato Carrier. Um, there's no like correct order that you can scan these bodies in. It's like whatever the last one you search is, uh, it's, oh, it's always going to be the last one they have to search. Like, you have to scan all the bodies. You can't. There's no right one to scan or wrong one to scan. Uh, this game loves to do that. <laughs> so, none of these were Von Bach. And I know from experience, I gotta make my way. Well, not that way, but over here. I have invisible wall. No big I think deal. We're going to need some assistance in finding him. I'm receiving an SOS from Captain Grant now. I'll patch it through. I'm gonna actually end it here because I don't want this oh, video to carry on for too long. Get to cover and stay put. We will Let this guy talk. You. All combat capable survivors, report to the emergency HQ at the new Freedom Rally Point ASAP. Hey, Ark Hunter, did you get that e rep message? Meet me at the rally point. I want to know why e -Rep's here. Let's find the man in charge. Alright, so next time we will be back and we will enter this building to start our first official, like, actual mission. And I can explain a little bit more on the things that you can do in this game. Um, and we'll take it from there. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.